Hello, this is Jonathan Zermatos, and in this video, I'll be discussing the reasons why you should consider upgrading your existing Dynamixel AX or MX robotic platform to the new Dynamixel X series. If you've been using Dynamixel for a while, you're probably familiar with the AX and MX series servos introduced in the early 2000s. While these actuators were once cutting edge, robotists continued to innovate, and now we have the X series to replace the aging AX and MX. Let's start by talking about the most noticeable difference between the two series, the redesigned exterior construction of the X-Series servos. Unlike the older generation, utilizing external nut capturing flanges, the X-Series has tap mounting points directly into the casing, allowing for simple installation of frames and accessories without additional components. Additionally, the streamlined rectangular shape facilitates mounting in various orientations and simplifies the design of custom accessories. But the enhancements go beyond the exterior the Dynamix Select Series features upgraded internal ARM Cortex processors and contactless magnetic encoders, providing high performance and precision in a compact and user-friendly package. Moreover, the X Series offers specialty actuators designed for specific applications, such as the XD Series with hardened construction offering ultra-long lifetime, the XH Series with 24 volt models that work alongside Dynamix LP high performance industrial actuators, two axis models integrating two actuators into a single unit, and the XW series with waterproof construction for maximum performance in wet or dusty conditions. These hardware improvements are not the only reason to upgrade to the X series. Enhanced software and control options are another compelling factor. Dynamixel X servos come with the new Dynamixel Protocol 2 communications by default, enabling access to advanced features like PWM mode and current-based position control of operation. Additionally, Dynamix LX servos support two exclusive features, control table backup, allowing the saving and restoration of Dynamix configuration settings, even through reboots and factory resets, and the indirect address feature, enabling the reorganization of the Dynamix control table address, allowing the creation of highly efficient customized control programs. Whether you're a hobbyist, researcher, or professional roboticist, Upgrading to the Dynamix Select Series will undoubtedly enhance the capabilities of your robotic platform. The improved hardware, including innovative construction, upgraded processors, and contactless magnetic encoders, combined with advanced software features, make the X-Series the superior choice. Now, I'll be suggesting some specific recommendations for upgrading based on your existing AX or MX actuators. For users upgrading from the AX12W, consider the XL430 m 0770 which offers a similar stall torque and higher maximum output speed. If you're currently using the AX12 or AX18, the most similar X-Series actuator is the XL430W250, with comparable performance and price. If you're using the MX12W, the closest equivalent, much like the AX12W, is the XL330 m 077 although in this case, there's a slight reduction in maximum torque output, the XL330 M077 still delivers better overall performance for most applications. MX28 users are encouraged to upgrade to the XM430 W210 for increased maximum torque output. For MX64 and MX106 users, the recommended upgrade options are the XM540 W150 and XM540 W270 servos, respectively, both offering increased maximum torque compared to the MX counterparts. Upgrading your Dynamixel system to utilize the improved X-Series lineup will greatly enhance your robotics capability. If you'd like to see some technical information and confirm these improvements for yourself, check out our online e-manual. Additionally, visit our official GitHub for documentation on Robotics' many open source projects. And don't forget to join the official Robotics community forum to ask for upgrade advice and just chat with other Dynamixel users. This has been Jonathan with Robotics, and I look forward to building more with you soon.